What up, peeps? Tony Baker here, back with another movie review. This time I'm reviewing the big budget action flick, Argyle, directed by Matthew Vaughn, who brought us The Kingsman, The Kingsman 2, The King's Man, X-Men First Class, you know, big extravagant action McGee. That's who Matthew Vaughn is. Apparently this, this, this is a $200 million movie. $200 million. Like they out here, Apple is just putting money, they just throwing up money and they not gonna make it back. I don't see this movie making it back. It's not that it, it's not that it's that bad where it's not gonna make it back. It did 16 million opening weekend. So they are gonna have to do some incredible overseas work to even get the money back. It stars Bryce Dallas Howard as a reclusive author of a popular like spy book. And the character's name is Argyle, who's played in the movie by Henry Cavill. The stuff that she writes about is linked to stuff that's really going on out here. And so they're like, yo, how is she this accurate with the, with the fiction that she's creating? And so she gets in real trouble. She got real people after her. And she runs into this spy played by Sam Rockwell, who's protecting her from these would be assassins or threats to her, you know, very livelihood. She always has her little precious cat with her in her backpack. That's essentially what the storyline is about. Wild action, vibrant colors. And so we're just taking on this journey of her trying to survive and navigate. They want her to finish her next novel, which is her fifth novel to see what moves are gonna be made in real time with this, with this you know, mysterious organization. So the premise is crazy. That's a crazy wild premise, but it's a lot of twists and turns in this joint to make it all make sense. Actually, the twists and turns are pretty solid. My whole beef is just the action never mattered. And I'm an action guy, I'm action McGee, I'm action Bronson, I'm action Jackson. Rest in peace to Carl Weathers. I'm action McGee. But now I'm falling into a place where the action is just, I'm numb to it sometimes. And this, this is a movie where I'm just numb to the ridiculous action that's going on. I'm just like, this is just wild. And some, you know, some of the special effects are just so like special effecty that it just takes you out of the whole thing. And I'm just like, mm, all right, all right. Okay, there's a lot of those moments where you're just like, really? Okay. But Sam Rockwell, man, Bryce Dallas Howard, they're likable. Like I like them, and like you know, the, the cast looks like they having, it looks like they're having a good time being there. Sam Jackson is in it, Brian Cranston is in it, Dua Lipa, Ariana DeBose is in there. So you got a stacked cast of like talent. But ultimately, I was just like, I was just looking. I wasn't bored, but I also wasn't on the edge of my seat. The stakes weren't high enough. I was just taking it. I was just taking it. And there's one, there's one particular action sequence that I was just like, this is comedically ridiculous. And I think that's what they were going for. I was just like, oh, you're going for this. But I was still just in a space where I'm just like, you're not taking this seriously, are you? Are you being funny? I was confused. Like, I, I, was, I was like, I didn't like that confusion. Like, if we're gonna, we gonna take it there, if we're gonna be ridiculous, let me know that we're gonna be ridiculous in a funny way, or are we gonna be ridiculous, but you trying to take yourself seriously, and now we like being ridiculous, but they, you were serious about the ridiculousness, so now it's just like, I'm confused. Also, I wanna say this about Matthew Vaughn. The first Kingsman movie, I don't know if y'all saw it or not, it has one of the dopest action sequences of the last several years, where uh, one of the main character, is in this church with a bunch of like racially bigoted people and he gets set off and it's just a it's just a melee in this church. That's one of the best action sequences I've seen in a long time. I was just like, yo, that's crazy. Sometimes I'll just go to YouTube and watch that action sequence. We don't have that here. It's some, some crazy ridiculous action. One involving some ice skates. It's just crazy. But ultimately I was just like all right, but forget all that. You want to know a smooth jazz review of Argyle? Well, here it is. Oh, yeah. I'm giving Argyle two and a half saxophones out of five. The action was meaningless. You know how when you eat something and you wasted valuable calories and fat for the day on a meal that just meant nothing to you? Like you ate, but you just like, damn. I ate, but it was like, there was no, there was no passion, no feelings, no emotion, no, you just ate. You was like, did you eat? Yeah. 
I hate. That's how I felt like when I watched the movie. Yeah, I watched it. It wasn't terrible, but I was just like, all right. All right, peeps, that's my review of the movie Argyle. Let me know what you thought of the movie in the comments section below. Also, let me know what you thought of the, the Kingsman trilogy now. They got like three films. Uh, they got the Kingsman, the Kingsman in the Golden Circle, and the King's Man, which was a prequel to the, the previous two. I like the first Kingsman. I like the King's Man. I don't remember the second Kingsman that much because it was just... It just didn't stick to my ribs like that. But let me know what you thought of the movie, the movies and the franchise in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, we out here.